Okay, and here's a uh, continuation of my load editor tutorial. This is for the John Haas weapons. Uh, they are slightly different. Um, installation is pretty much the same. They're slightly different because they're just kind of organized in a funny way um, in the package. Um, I have the package on my Google Drive because they have been taken down off of John Haas' website and he, for some reason, he doesn't want them to be distributed anymore. Um, so I'm probably going to piss him off by making this tutorial and having the weapons models available, but in my opinion, there's no reason they should not be available. They look absolutely fantastic. Um, as you can see here, we've got an M120, um, I think that's a Charlie. M9 X-Ray with an updated LAU-129 launcher and the uh, AGM-88 on a LAU-118 that's also been updated and the uh, fuel tanks have also been updated as well. Okay, now once you get into the um, weapons zip file, you have all these folders here. Um, some of these are skins only. Um, I actually separated these out into a different folder. You'll see all of these are skins only, no models. Um, but the GBU 10 and 12 are really nice skins. Uh, I recommend using those. Um, the LAU-118 is also only a skin, but we do need that. So uh, for this specific um, tutorial, I'm going to install the AGM-65, AGM-88, and the uh, LAU-129 launcher, because those, those are the only ones that are kind of strange to work with. If you look at these other ones, like the um, AIM-9 X-Ray, it's really straightforward, just one texture file and two load files. Uh, it's really no big deal. If if you've seen my video on the uh, F-16 LVMs, you'll be able to do this in about 30 seconds. So with the AGM-65 and 88, um, AGM-65 has F-4 patch and skins. We need the skins, of course. Uh, copy those and put them into your Korea Objects folder, overriding the originals just as we did before. And the models themselves are in this F4 patch folder um, under Models. Uh, and you'll see the launcher adapters are also here, the LAU-88s and 117s, um, which is slightly confusing because some of the other launcher adapters will be in their own separate folder and then these are lumped together with the weapon. Uh, but you've got the Alpha, Bravo, Delta, and Golf model Mavericks here. In the um, models folder you also have these uh, DAT files. I'm not really sure what they do. Um, they don't overwrite anything but if you want to install them, uh, I did. I don't know how effective that was but if you want to install them, you just select these and um, copy those, and they go into data, sim, uh, I believe miss data. Yeah, and then just paste those there. Still not sure what they do, uh, if anything. But anyways, now we have the uh, lot editor. Um, finding the weapons, just click weapons, uh, sort by name, starts with the numbers. Um, see the 300 gallon tank right here is the F-16 centerline tank. Um, 370 gallon tank with the wing tanks, and here are the AGMs. It's AGM-65A. I'll just install the AGM-65D for now. Uh, if you hit 3D Viewer, um, you'll see that's the original model. Pretty plain. So we're going to hit Normal and 1. We only need to replace two of these loads. Edit Load, Action, Replace, 
and we gotta navigate to the model the four patch models uh, delta load one so this is pretty much just like installing the LVNs um, not terribly difficult just time consuming and monotonous and nothing needs to be changed here so we can just go back to the CT records hit 3D viewer and there's the new model now for the uh, rails the LAU 88s and 117s those are a bit more difficult to find you would think they are here in LAU but these are all rocket pods uh, you need to go down to the very bottom where you see this R um, R has all the pylons here you go uh, the 117 I believe is what we need yep as you can see the texture is all messed up because the new model has not been installed yet so let's install that one uh, normal one edit place go. So there's two load files for the uh, 117 adapter. And there's the new adapter. And we need to do the same for the LAU-88. There's the original with, I think that's the new skin on it. I'm not sure. Okay, normal one. There's only one load for this one. You need this first one, LAU-88. Uh, the one down here, RLAU-88, is a bit different. And there's the new one. And like I said, the uh, RLAU 88 NP um, is a little bit further down in this list. Somewhere. Ah, here we go. RLAU 88. LAU 88R NP. Not really sure which one this is. If this applies to F16s or something else, but I replaced that one anyways. The NP. And there's the new one. Okay, now for the uh, AGM 88. And the texture again, 1306 DDS. Uh, put that in your Korea Objects folder. Copy and replace. Pretty much the same as always. Uh, training is like a dummy. Uh, it's just a skin. Uh, and you have the four loads here. Uh, I have no idea what the 88 in load is. I do not use that one. And then the last two are the LAU118. So let's add those. Since we're already here down at the LAUs, let's find our LAU 118. Here we go, right here. And as you can see, skin messed up, old model. Normal. Navigate to the 88. The LAU one one eight load one, and two. And there's a new model. Sometimes this will happen. This means that something we did not install the skin. Uh, and that is because the skin is located in a separate folder. I do not know why. 
uh, you have to go down here to LAU118 and copy this skin. Let's check it now. There you go. Okay, so let's go back to the uh, AGM-88 up here at the top. AGM-88. Here's the original new skin on the old model. Kind of messed up. Not very detailed. Like normal. This one has four loads. The number of loads uh, varies. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three, sometimes it's four. It's never more than four, though. And there we go. Okay, now the last one I'm going to show is the uh, LAU-129 launcher. Down here at the bottom, R Generic AIM. Let's install the uh, DDS file. Copy and paste as always. A parent record, um, no idea what that is, don't use it. Now finding it in here is a bit difficult. You have to go down to the R's again and find generic aim. That's all it says right here. It doesn't tell you it's an LAU-129 or anything. It just says R generic aim. And there's the old model. This one has two loads. And there's a new one. Okay, so the uh, rest of these are just personal preference for you. Um, I installed most of these. Uh, some of them I didn't. Um, the GBU-38 has to be one of my favorites. Um, I also want to mention the skins. Like I said earlier, GBU-10 and GBU-12 look really nice. Uh, there's also the GBU... Uh, 31 and 32 look a lot better than the stock skins as well. Uh, I would recommend those. So, uh, good luck with the uh, modding and enjoy.